Um, we started off about eight years ago. The first four years we did really re just research to try and test certain ideas that I developed over a prior, a prior period. We developed a, 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 a research platform for our AGI uh, and that, that was, we had about four, six people in the company um, just self-funded so that was part of the limitation. Uh, we then moved into an engineering phase where we decided to actually build something and what we built was a prototype personal assistant. Basically a personal assistant that would live on your, on your PC and it could you know, do email for you, IM, you could talk to it, it could go on the internet and buy things for you and, and things of that nature. But it was a prototype, it was not something uh, good enough to do commercial, commercial uh, to sell commercially, um, but it was a machine that you could teach these things. So you could teach it how to book a flight, or how to get directions on on the internet. So it 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 had these characteristics of being teachable rather than have, having to program everything in. And and we did that for about two years, nine people. At that point, we re we decided that it, that we identified a very uh, exciting market that we could go into that was a subset of this personal assistant uh, and that was to develop a virtual call center agent. So it's quite simply what that means, automating when people currently answer, answer the phone to, a, you know, whether it's service or sales or support of some, some kind over the telephone. And um, for, a, for a year we focused on product development and then for the last year, a year ago, we created our commercial subsidiary Smart Action uh, and we have now for a year been uh, you know, running commercially with about 20 people in, in the company. So where are we from a technology point of view? We have the AGI framework that can, can learn and reason. We have a knowledge base. It has memory, short-term, long-term memory. It has sensors and actuators. So what that means, it can you know, sense mouse movements, uh, voice, IM input. Um, things from your PC, actually anything could serve as input to it and output conversely, it can act on the world directly or indirectly and it has natural language capabilities. So that's a, a basic framework, a framework of technology that's been developed. It's been applied in, into a personal assistant, that's what we call an oracle, a system you can teach stuff or it can tell you things and it just has a lot of knowledge or it can look up to find the knowledge for you on, uh, on the internet. Um, a web assistance to do things uh, over the internet, email, chat, phone, I mentioned those already. And w where we are now in our commercial operation, um, I think I will just um, let our system talk to you. Welcome back to Select Direct Customer Care, Mr. Patel. When our last call was interrupted, I understood you wanted to cancel an order. Is that still correct? Yes, that's what I want. Okay. Your account lists two orders. One monthly order for Health Now magazine and one order for one Mega Toys robot. Which order would you like to cancel? Uh, not the magazine, the second one. All right. I can cancel your Mega Toys order, or if you would like to change to a different item, I can offer you a $10 credit on your next order. Would you like to take advantage of this special offer? Well, my nephew only likes the fun frogs. Do you have anything with them? One second while I check our database. We will receive a shipment of fun frogs playsets in two days, available for $39.95. Would you like to change your order to the fun frogs? Uh, say that again? Would you like me to place an order for one fun frogs playset while canceling your order for the Mega Toys robot? Mm, when will it get here? Express shipping for this order has an expected arrival date of June 16th. Expedited shipping has an expected arrival of June 19th. Do express. Well, standard ship. Great. Express shipping. Congratulations on your $10 credit. I am sending an email confirmation of this change to the address we have on file. Did my services today satisfy your needs? Just a sec. Okay. I'll wait. No, never mind. I see I have that information in my email you just sent me. Have I taken care of all your needs for today? Yes, thank you. Fantastic. 
Thank you for calling Select Direct, Mr. Patel. Goodbye. Okay, it's, um, it's not curing aging. It's not at that level. Um, but I think for any of you who've been stuck in phone tree hell, uh, I think you can see it's a significant move forward and there's some semblance of intelligence, some kernels of intelligence in the system. Um, and that is the level at which, which we are now and we're constantly improving the system as we go along and that is our platform for cranking up the intelligence of the system and moving forward. So our success tra tra trajectory that, that we believe that we're working on, and I must say here personally, for, for those of you who don't know, life extension futurism is very, very important to me personally. It's my company, I started off building AGI. The commercial success is a, is a means to an end, and I believe uh, it's, an, it's, it's a very viable way to go. So. Initially, our theory of general intelligence, development framework, personal assistant prototype, first practical AGI engine-based application, which you just heard, more complex conversations, we're busy working on that. Software QA is what we expect to, to be developing um, in the next year or two. Programming, dynamic system controller, uh, I, I don't have the time to go into detail of what that roadmap, exactly the details of the roadmap, and then ultimately what is important to us here in this room, a research assistant and researcher. And um, the roadmap I'm, uh, I'm looking at here, we are not talking about decades. I don't believe this is decades. I believe we are talking about something in the order of six years for where we are. And the budget that I'm talking about, I think this can be done for $30 million, but wait, there's more. <laughs> we actually believe we have a, um, a multiplier formula that we will actually only need about one-tenth of that amount to, to achieve that, and you know, we, we can talk about that uh, afterwards. So why do we think it will work? Um, a good theory of intelligence, which has been partially proven already in our, in our, in our prototypes and our work. We believe the time is ripe. Again, this would require some time to debate. We believe the hardware and software capabilities are actually there. I don't believe, like Ray Kurzweil, that it needs another 20 years before we have enough hardware capacity. Uh, we have a team and tools focused on AGI, on solving the problem once and not solving it for every separate application a million times over. Uh, our system is grounded in the real world. It's real world feedback, natural language learning, incremental improvement, so it's not an all or nothing thing. So it's not something you put 30 million into or 10 million or 5 million or 1 million um, and three years down the road, you'll know either it worked or didn't work. So there, it, you know, there's incremental uh, progress. And we already have a strong engineering team and, and skills and, and approach to, to get this going. Um, so there is a, a virtuous business cycle that we have that business feeds into R&D, both in terms of the funds that are flowing from business into R&D, but also the practical feedback of what really works, what doesn't work. So it's an important testing ground. And then the R&D, the improvements to the AGI technology, the AGI engine, of course, improve our business strengths. So we believe that's a, a very viable, a very uh, 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 important model uh, to, uh, to, to use. Thank you.